from the 24th of this month of April, political activities will resume on a full swing in Edo State as the electoral body INEC will lift ban on political campaigns. <laughs> Speaking against the backdrop of past campaigns, especially 2016 and 2019 Edo State, where parties dwelt more on personal vendetta, using the window of campaign to address personal scores as we move towards another election. The people are worried. They are asking the political elites in Edo State to change method and concentrate on issues that will be of interest to the people. I'm hopefully expecting that we should have a rank of free campaign because campaign by its definition is, is competing interests, people coming out to tell the populace exactly what they want to do for them when elected, pure and simple. It's nothing more, nothing less. And in doing that, nobody needs to be killed, nobody needs to be maimed, nobody needs to be um, harassed. Uh, but unfortunately, that seems to be the bane of our politics, of our campaign in this part of the world. And it's very, very much unfortunate. So I ask and I say that we should please uh, shield the sword and let the people's will prevail. Let us go to the people directly and tell them what we want to do. And if the people believe us, and they will vote for us. Um, and, and that's how it should be. And we have a very interesting party. We have the PDP, who had dominated the state, who took power from the APC. We have APC now, who have realized their mistake, want to wrestle power back from them. We also now have the obedience. Obedience is very powerful. It's a combination of forces who also want to say, you know, we're done with PDP and APC. We want to take power back. So now, people are going to be more responsible. They're going to have a choice of word when they are campaigning. The campaign of trying to destroy one to climb is no longer acceptable again. So I would expect that because the three candidates are very exposed, that we will get the best from each and every one of them. Some are of the opinion that certain issues, especially the development of the state, should be a major discuss during the campaign. Black people criticizing somebody that is contesting the election. I'm contesting with you. Tell the people what you want to do for them. I will also tell them what I want to do for them. Let them make up their minds. And those who have used TikTok, uh, WhatsApp, so many things to campaign, where are we today? The coming election in Edo State will be issues uh, based. I don't think there will be issues. If you are not popular, you are not popular. Chairman, Edo State Council of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, has called on journalists practicing in the state to shun any reports that cannot be substantiated during the campaign period. So we want to use opportunity right now to appeal to the journalists of Edo State to take stories which they can verify, to take stories that have to do with issues. If candidate A said, if I win, I'm going to build a bigger central hospital. That's the story. If candidate B say, if I win, I'll concentrate on security. That is the story. So these are things we want to know so that we will hold them to it. Again, every journalist in Edo State, you must keep your materials. 17 political parties are participating in the Edo Guba election scheduled to hold on the 21st of September this year. Christy McCauley, Arise News.